What is up guys, today we're going to be talking about 5 reasons why you should buy the LG Velvet in 2021, even going into 2022. So this is a great phone for my people who are LG fans and you want to use an LG phone for the next 2 years or something like that. Uh, this is one of my phones that I highly recommend here. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about it. And um, the hardware on here is beautiful. I think it's LG's best uh, looking phone that they've ever released. One of my favorite things about it is this descending camera module. Absolutely beautiful. And what's interesting about this design is that we're actually seeing this design, and technically it's still a rumor, on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. We're seeing a similar design of this very flat um, you know, camera bag, if you guys have seen that. But it's, it's not quite, but it, it looks similar. Um, but yeah, so super slim phone. Beautiful color on here. Even though this mirror color picks up a ton of fingerprints, it's kind of a pain to a film on. Um, you can get this in other different colors and it doesn't pick up fingerprints uh, like that. But I love the way that this hits the light and you get that sort of like rainbow effect here. Uh, just a beautiful phone overall. Also, very tall phone as well. So if I get like an S21 Ultra here, look, the Velvet is even taller than the S21 Ultra. So it's a very big and tall phone. Uh, guys, so if you have small hands, you might want to avoid uh, this here. Uh, volume rockers, Google Play button on here as well. <laughs> Not Google Play, Google Assistant button. Also, you do get a headphone jack on this phone. And this phone also has stereo speakers, USB Type-C. So, it's beautiful hardware. I think that's my favorite thing about this phone. Extremely tall phone. So also the display on here is really great for the price point, which we will talk about. It's got slight curved display to it. I don't get accidental touches. I never get accidental touches. It might be because I have a small hand or, um, you know, I just, I just hold the phone correctly. So I don't get accidental touches um, like some people might complain about with these curved screens. But, um, yeah, this is a beautiful display. It's a big, tall, 6.8 inch uh, screen. It's P OLED and it is a 1080p uh, display here and it's just really beautiful. Pretty sharp at 395 for the PPI so icons and text and everything look great. Also when you're watching movies and you know those really um, wide movies, uh, this screen does a great job of uh, being able to watch content on like those wide movies like that is something that I noticed. Even when you crop in it doesn't like cut all the content off uh, which I think is awesome. So the display on here is absolutely beautiful. So I just think the whole hardware package here is just uh, a beautiful thing. So number two would be the price of this device. So you know I wasn't going to break this into a, a second reason but it really is one of the main reasons. I picked this phone up for 200 bucks. You guys know I preach refurbish phones, get your phones used, save your money. This is a very budget conscious channel. We, we're trying to save a dollar on this channel all the time. Um, so 219 bucks. I, like I said I picked this up for 400 bucks. So remember this phone comes with a dual screen case as well. You're not going to find any phone for 200 bucks that's going to give you that ultimate multitasking experience of having basically two phones in your hand. So you got Instagram, uh, you got YouTube in one uh, screen and then you have Instagram on the other screen. Now, I'm not a super heavy multitasker like that, but if you are, this phone is going to be amazing. Again, that dual screen case is going to be a, a, around 100 bucks extra. Um, so, and again, you don't need the dual screen case, but if you are, uh, you know, extreme multitasker, man, is that going to be an awesome experience for you? Also, you can take advantage of certain games like Asphalt is compatible. I believe I've seen uh, people playing PUBG on the case as well. So, uh, yeah, it's just an awesome experience if you want to have that super heavy multitasking. So, the price, it just beats a lot of budget phones and mid-range phones like the Galaxy A52s. You're just not going to get that that powerful experience even like the Redmi Note 10 Pro. It is giving you like that, that really unique experience. So definitely, um, you know, the price on here is just awesome here. 219 bucks, And I would get mine from Amazon because I, I usually have the best experience. Um, I'll leave that link down below for you guys. Next would be the specs here. So we do have the Snapdragon 765G uh, on this phone, Adreno 620. We also get micro SD support on here, 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM. Uh, so the phone is fairly snappy for me. I've never had an issue with like a uh, speed on this phone. It's been a pretty speedy experience on here. 
and um, yeah I just don't notice like lag and stuff like that on this phone it's very fast now again this is not gonna be like one of those gaming phones where you're gonna be like maxing everything out and stuff like that uh, your game experience again is gonna be good like I said with that dual screen case it does make it a unique experience but again playing PUBG Call of Duty Mobile uh, was perfectly fine on this phone I did not have any issues at all but again remember this is a mid-range chip uh, also this phone has 5G as well um, which is really nice too and again you get the headphone jack on here as well as NFC um, as well which is really nice and then you also get your in display fingerprint sensor on here just to show you guys what that looks like here boom the only thing about that is that you don't have a um, you don't have um, face unlock which kinda sucks the in display fingerprint sensor is not the fastest but I mean it, it, it works it's very accurate it's just not like it's one of those tap and holds. Now next would be image quality. So this phone does have some pretty good cameras, especially now at this $220 price point. These are pretty exceptional cameras. A triple camera setup, 48 megapixel standard, an 8 megapixel ultra wide with a 5 megapixel depth sensor. You also get 4K video at 30 frames with a 16 megapixel selfie at 1080p. The images come out really good. I think the highlight with the photos is honestly the color accuracy so this phone does a really great job with color accuracy just giving you very natural true to life shots uh, on here which is something that I really enjoy um, so I just really enjoy the, the the color accuracy the image processing on here also you get very detailed shots uh, on here which is really awesome as well so I really don't have any complaints again at this price point um, yeah I had some complaints when it was 400 bucks comparing it to some other phones but now, I mean, the camera's just exceptional when I compare it to other phones uh, that are around the $200 price point, and even some, you know, now mid-rangers. Um, I think this is just extremely competitive now. So the cameras on the LG Velvet are definitely still uh, really good. All right, so last would be battery life here. So. 4300 milliamp battery on here with 25 watt charging. I do like the charging speeds on here. Uh, very, very nice. It doesn't take a long time for this phone to charge. Wireless charging at 9 watts as well. Um, battery life experience has been great. Again, I am not in a 5G area. I've never been able to use 5G actually. So, um, again, that it varies. So, I'm on 4G and it's fine. All the phones I test are on 4G, by the way. But, um, yeah, so battery life on here has been excellent. Um, if you're on 5G, of course, you might get, you know, not that good of a screen on time because 5G is going to take more battery. But um, I can say that this phone is easily, you know, an all-day phone for me. Uh, I would easily say a little bit over six hours of screen on time, around that seven hours of screen on time mark. Uh, so, yeah, I have no issues with um, uh, battery life on here. So, the Velvet is just an awesome, awesome device here, guys. Um... I don't have any major complaints. I mean, for 200 bucks, once you get the dual screen case, it beats a lot of phones. The screen is absolutely beautiful, especially for watching movies uh, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so it's just an awesome experience. So be sure to let me know what you guys think. It's got a lot. It's got really everything. Beautiful design, great hardware. It's IP68, dust and water resistant as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, but yeah, so just an awesome package. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one.